Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this makeup look. So this one is a greenish blue glittery eye makeup with a nude lip kind of makeup look. Basically, I'm not someone who creates such kind of eye makeup look. If you've watched my previous videos, you will definitely know like what kind of eye makeup I prefer wearing. But then recently I had this sudden thought of exploring different eye makeup look and no, this is the end result. I know I'm not a pro in creating eye looks and this one may not look very interesting or you know very unique but then I love it okay. So if you want to know how I created this makeup look and what are all the products that I have used and then do continue watching this video and before getting into the video if you have not subscribed to my channel take a moment to subscribe and also don't forget to hit the bell icon and if you're not following me in my Instagram page then this is my Insta handle do check out my Instagram page and follow me there as well so yes without further ending let's quickly jump into the video first i'm going to start off with my face cleansing for which i'll be using this bioderma cleanser so this one is a purifying cleansing foaming gel and it's meant for combination to oily skin so i have used till this area so you can see like how much i have used and i absolutely absolutely love this product it really helps in cleansing your skin without stripping down the natural oil so i absolutely absolutely love this product and if you have really sensitive combination to oily skin you can definitely try this one it haven't caused any issues or breakout so yeah now now I'm quickly going to cleanse my face with this product. So now I'm done with my face cleansing. Next I'm going to do the moisturization part. Before that, I need a little bit of toning for which I'll be using this Bioderma uh, cleansing water. It's not only a cleansing water but it will also act as a toner. Next, I'm quickly going to jump into the moisturization part. So first, I'm going to start off with my lip moisturization for which I'll be using this Blue Heaven uh, Jelly and Butter Lip Balm. If you want a really nice hydrating and plumping kind of lip balm with a little bit of tint to it, then I would highly recommend you to try this one. So now I'm using the shade Plum Kiss. I'm going to moisturize my face for which I'll be using this moisturizer I have already talked about this moisturizer in a couple of my videos I think I'm absolutely in love with this one now this one is the Ecologica glow plus jello moisturizer it helps in adding really good amount of hydration to your skin and I love using this one underneath my makeup if you are someone who wear makeup on a daily basis you can definitely try this one it acts as a really good base for your makeup now face moisturization is done next sun protection that is very 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 important so today for sunscreen I'm going to use this Aquilogica glow plus UV sunscreen so again for sunscreen I'm going to apply this two finger roll which I basically do now taking the sunscreen and then applying it on my skin now talking about Aquilogica products the first thing that comes to our mind is the Aquilogica sunscreen they have couple of variants one is the hydrate sunscreen and the other one is the glowy dewy sunscreen the one that I'm using now when you apply it initially it will give this light white cast and then over the period of time like within five minutes it will settle down so yes now we are done with the sunscreen next I'm going to use a uh, illuminating base because I want this really nice glowy kind of finish today I don't know how it is going to end up but I'm starting like that so I'm going to add an illuminating base to my skin for which I'll be using this product now this one is a mass illuminating base uh, so I have picked the shade 01 gold bean because I have deeper complexion with warm undertones so I'm going to use this gold bean shade which has this nice golden sheen to it Now this product is so good it has this micro uh, shimmers to it which is not at all visible so even when you look closer you can't see the shimmer particles it blends into your skin and gives this nice sheen and natural glow kind of effect now we are done with this illuminating base next i'm going to use a primer for which i'll be using this skull bar flawless finish primer so this one is a silicone primer so if you have really oily skin or if you tend to oil up quickly then you can definitely definitely try this kind of silicone premise this one is so good and it's very very affordable this one retails for 499 bucks and most of the times in amazon you can find it in a really good deal now guys i'm extremely sorry footage wherein i was applying this primer went missing i thought the camera was recording i was just doing my makeup and it didn't record the primer step 
the previous recording got over i thought that i've been filming but then it was not recording the content so yeah it's like a very normal silicone primer as you guys know in most of my videos i have shown multiple uh, silicone primers next i'm going to do my color correction for which i'll be using this color corrector now this one is a mask seal the deal conceal uh, corrector in shade orange now i'm going to take this orange color corrector and then apply it on the areas where i have uh, darkness issue, hyperpigmentation, dark spots. It's really hard to squeeze this product out. I don't know why. Now I'm going to blend it with my fingers. Like usually for orange collector, sorry, corrector, I prefer blending using my finger because when I use a beauty sponge, right, it used to just suck the product and the end result was not that great. So now we are done with the color correction part. Next, I'm going to use a foundation. So for foundation, today I'm going to use this pack, a spotlight foundation. Now this is how the foundation looks like. The shade that I have picked is called Coffee Walnut and the shade number is 19. This is how the shade 19 Coffee Walnut looks like. So yeah, I'm quickly going to take in this foundation and apply it on my skin. Now I'm going to blend in with this beauty sponge. So yes, now I'm done with my foundation. Next, I'm quickly going to do my concealer for which I'll be using these two concealers and these two are the Insight HD concealer in shade number 35 and 30. So first I'm going to use the shade 35. And then I'm going to blend in with my beauty blender. So now we are done with the concealer. Next I'm going to apply a blush for which I'll be using this one. Now this one is a Swiss Beauty Cream and Tint which is basically a lip and cheek tint. Now the shade that I picked is called Strawberry Sizzle. Now this one is a beautiful pinky blush now i'm quickly going to take this blush and then apply it now cream blushes are in trend also i'm going to take it to my eyelids finish which will give you this natural flush of color so i'm taking the same shade to my eyelids as well and then again i'm taking this beauty sponge and then blending in the shade Now we are done with the blush. Next, I'm going to set my face using a powder for which I'll be using this Revolution HD Super Matte Setting Powder. Now, this one is a translucent powder. Now I'm going to take this brush and then I'm going to set my under eye area. This, guys. Now, this setting powder is so, so good. It just quickly sets your under eye area and all the cream products. Now my face is all set and it's really good. Next for bronzer, I'm going to use this Cups and Lash Bronzer in shade Coconut, I think. I'll put the shade details in the description. Now this is how the bronzer looks like. So for bronzing, I'm going to use again the same brush which I have used for setting my under eye area. So yeah, now I'm quickly going to bronze my face. Now I'm going to use the same product on the sides of my nose. You have to be really very careful. Now you have to start from this area and then when you're doing nose contouring, you have to be really very careful. You have to, you know, do it light handedly or else you will end up damaging your entire makeup. Next, I'm quickly going to add a little bit of powder blush and for that, I'll be using the Swiss Beauty Blush in Shade Glazing Bronze. I'm quickly going to take a little bit of this blush, uh, you know, dusting off the excess and then applying my blush. Now starting from this area, I'm going to apply this blush, a little bit on top of the nose and a little bit on the chin. So yeah, now we're done with the blush part. 
now talking about the eye makeup I'm gonna start with my eyebrows for which I'll be using this one now this one is the inside eyebrow pencil now this is how the product looks like this one has eyebrow product on one side and then a uh, you know spoolie on the other side now this product is really good it's creamy easy to work with at the same time it's not waxy now this product is so good now this shade it has this nice natural you know dark grayish brown kind of finish for people with a dusky to deeper complexion will really love now this one is a must try you guys you are definitely going to love this eyebrow product now we are done with the eyebrows next we are quickly going to start with the eyeshadow part for which i'll be using this palette from mars now this palette is one of the most raved palette from mars now this is how the palette looks like it has got a lot of shades in it and it's really really affordable so i'm going to match this top or not i'm not sure okay now I'm going to start off with, first I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use it as a transition shade. Okay, now I'm done with the transition shade. Next I'm going to take this shade from the eyeshadow palette. Now we are done with this and then I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to apply it from the inner corner till the mid of my eyelids. Now to intensify the outer corner, I'm going to take this blue shade, I'm going to intensify it slightly. After that, I'm going to use a clean eyeshadow blending brush and then I'm going to blend in all the harsh edges. And then I'm going to take a shimmery blue shade which I have used earlier and slightly applying it here and then a little bit on the inner corner. Not this glittery glittery kind of person but then I slightly want to add glitter for which I'll be using this beautiful silver glitter. So I'm going to take this glitter and then apply it on the middle of my eyelids. I usually don't prefer applying glitter but then this shade is attracting me a lot so slightly okay slightly I'm going to apply this glitter slightly intensifying the inner corner to get that gradient effect so I don't do such kind of eye makeup but then I really really love this one it's so good right next we are going to apply a kajal for which i'll be using this one now this one is the chamber spectacle lee kajal and then i'm going to tight line my upper and lower waterline now we are done with this kajal next i'm going to do my eyeliner now for eyeliner i'm going to use this ny bay truly matte liquid eyeliner in shade brave blue Now we are done with this eye makeup. I absolutely love this eye makeup. It has turned out really really well. Next I am going to set in all this makeup using a setting spray. For which I will be using this Mars Seal the Deal makeup fixer. Now this one is one of the most most raved product currently. A lot of YouTubers have been talking about this product. So now I am going to spritz it all throughout my face. Now talking about this mess, it's so good. It doesn't have any fragrance and it also sets in the makeup really, really well. It's not this very mattifying spray and it's also not this very dewy finish kind of spray. It's somewhere in between. It just gives this nice blended effect. It just helps in blending in the makeup product really well, like melting everything together. Do check this one and give it a shot. You are definitely going to love it. So now it's all set. Next, what I'm going to do is, oh my God, I forget my 
you know what is this mascara so yeah so for mascara i'm going to use this one now this one is a sugar pop volumizing mascara and this is in the shade black 01 now this mascara has really really nice wand this wand is really really unique it has a narrow tip and at the end it is like big when i apply it on my eyelashes it really helped in working on the inner corner since the edge is very narrow you can easily go to the inner and outer corner and coat your eyelashes with the mascara so yes now i'm going to coat my upper and lower eyelashes with this mascara I absolutely love this mascara and I would highly recommend you guys to try this one. It's so good and it's very very affordable. Next for highlighter, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Reloaded Highlighter. The shade name is Rice the Bar. So now this is how the highlighter looks like. This is the first time I'm going to use this highlighter. It is kind of silverish gold. It's not this typical golden highlighter. It's kind of silverish gold. And since I have this blue silver tone eye makeup, I just plan to use this one. So I'm quickly going to take a very little quantity of this highlighter, dust of the excess, and then, yeah, let me try. It's really nice. And then, tad bit amount on my brow bone area, taking a little bit on my brow bone area. Now this highlighter is not something with huge shimmer particles or not very blingy highlighter. This one is very subtle and when you apply it, it gives this nice natural glow kind of finish. So that's it. We are done with highlighter as well. The only thing that is still left is lipstick. So for lipstick today, I'm going to use this one. Now this one is the Mars Matte Box. This one has three different lipsticks in it and I bought it for 299 So for 299 I got three lipsticks okay now the variant that i picked is called as brown Ooh. so there are a lot of different shades in this range the variant that i picked is brown so it have this three different brown shades so first i'm going to use shade number 10 Now what I'm going to do is to bring that pouty effect I'm going to use the shade number 11 on the middle of my lips. So that's it guys we are done with this makeup look and this is how it turned out i am so much in love with this makeup look if you guys also love this one please give a big thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel take a moment to subscribe with that i'm signing off next time with another beautiful content i'll meet you guys until it's bye from priya bye bye